Carmine Pellini, folks, and I'm coming at you live, the Husker Power Hour broadcast. I want to welcome you to the show. We have so much on tap, folks. This is the inaugural session for the Husker Power Hour, and what better week, what better year could it be for Husker Nation? Coming at you today, we have got a lot on tap, a lot on the menu, a lot for you to chew up. Uh, we've got outtakes, tailgate clips, good Husker sports talk, real sports talent, Carmine Pellini, and a host of other great Husker characters coming at you. We got more than you can probably handle, but that's okay. You can watch it, watch it again. Bring your friends, watch it again. Bring your grandmother, watch it again. Bring every Husker fan you know, watch it again. All right? Carmine Pellini coming to you live, Husker Power Hour. We're going to break down K-State. We're going to talk about the debacle, the slaughtering, the rotting of the apple, uh, you know, everything that went on. And then, and then we're going to talk about this week's game. Whew. Folks, this is a rare time when Carmine Pellini is at a loss for words. But I'm going to be honest, I'm at a loss because I'm not going to lie, I hate Texas with a passion. The passion, like Bo Pelini passion. <sighs> calm down, calm down, don't go psycho on these kids. Okay. <sighs> Carmine Pelini, and you know what? It's I'm gonna say it's Texas week. It's Texas week, guys. And Husker Nation couldn't be more ready. Couldn't be a better time to play Texas. You know, everybody knows we hate them. We hate Texas. I'll say it. Bo may not say it. The media, the the unbiased, you know, touchy-feely media might not say it. And I even heard, I got word that there were sportscasters down playing the game. Let me tell you, from a representative of Husker Nation, we hate Texas. And we can't wait to throttle Texas in Lincoln, baby. It's coming. And I know, hey, if you're, a tech, if you're from Oklahoma, Texas, I don't care where you're from. If you're south of the Nebraska line and you're watching this via internet, cable, network, ABC, NBC, ESPN, you know, we're going to be on all those. If you're watching this, we hate Texas. It's not a joke. We hate Texas. It's Texas week. I'm pumped. I'm ready. We're all ready. And uh, we got some good stuff for you concerning Texas. Some good sports talk. Uh, some good breakdown of their garbage, lousy team. Uh, probably some disses towards Mac Brown because he's a geek. You know, uh, I got a great, my favorite saying about Mac Brown is nobody does less with more than Mac Brown. Five-star recruits, five-star talent, and has nothing to show for it. One national championship because of Vince Young. But hey, we're not talking about Texas right now. So it's Carmine Pellini, and I'm coming at you live, the Husker Power Hour. Welcome to our first broadcast, Husker Nation, baby. Carmine Pellini. This segment is brought to you by Courtyard Inc. 1515 Saddle Creek. Get inked up with screen printing and more at Courtyard Inc. Carmine Pellini, break it down film for you. Here we go. Fourth and two, big play early in the game. What do the black shirts do? Stuff it. Levante David, Crick, get some. He's there. He's short. Crick and David make the That's a weak quarterback. You can't do that on us. And the lecture to Bell on the opening drive. What do we got next? We got that boy TM3. Follows the snap. Doesn't matter. Too much speed. He follows the snap, but Spurs are back. Good first quarter. Moving on, second quarter action. We got that boy TM3 once again. Oh, up the sideline. You think you're gonna catch him? No way. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. K-State's just not ready. Yeah, baby. Little play-by-play -play from that boy, Matt Davidson. Here we go again, another look. Fake to Burkhead. TM3 is gone in an instant. Third quarter action here. This is where the game gets blown open. Oh, what do you know? TM3 once again up the middle. He is gone. 40, 30, nobody's going to catch That's speed. Martinez, an 80-yard scamper. His third rushing touchdown of the day. 
It's ugly, folks. It's ugly. Oh, so hurt, so weak. Yeah, in case Jake's pissed. Oh, the loop. Right side. Lost contain. And before you know it, he's gone too. Jeez, this running game is just blowing the Wildcats away right now. Look at that score. Blowing it wide open. Trips to the near side. Martinez in the gun. Snap. Here we go. Second and nine. Drops back. Got a man deep. It's that boy Kyler Reed. You're not gonna catch him in open field. Gone. So many highlights. So much fun. K State has no D. Here we go. Let's get another TM3 highlight here. Oh, what do you know? It's that boy TM3 again. And he is gone. Touch that. Wow. How many highlights can there be in one game? Let's see. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. He's gone. No better place to do it than right here in Manhattan. Couldn't have said it better this myself. Moment. Brought to you by Center Trophy. Excellence in awards. Check them out at 5435 Center Street. Get and yours we're today. back. Carmine Pellini. I'm joined here by a longtime season ticket holder, a Husker historian, the Vin Man, Vinny Perenza. How are you, Vinny? Doing well. Happy to be your first guest on the inaugural Husker Power Hour. And more than anything, I'm proud to be a Husker. Proud the Huskers are 5-0. and Yes. And I'm Ready for game week. All great points. We're 5-0. and We're coming into the biggest week, the Texas game. H how excited are you right now? I mean, it seems like yesterday they were putting time back on the clock, screwing us over, and taking a championship, and now all of a sudden it's here. Talk a little bit about the matchup, uh, offense to defense. Talk a little bit about the matchups. Well, offensively, the big red offense is rolling. Yes. Coming off the K-State game. Where T Mart ran wild, 240 yards, four touchdowns, yes. set a quarterback rushing record. And Texas's offense has been a little shaky, which plays in our factor, or plays into our hands, because yeah. the defense right now is on all cylinders, rolling. playing well, rolling. Rolling, yeah. Expect a big win. Yep. Clear advantage at quarterback, uh, uh, clear advantage with the running game for us. Uh, talk a little bit. I know you've talked about this before. You love the way the receivers are playing, and not so much for catching the ball. Talk a bit about how good they're blocking right now, quickly. They're doing awesome. And like I said uh, earlier when we were speaking, uh, this week in the media, Gilmore was saying that this is the best group of blocking receivers he's ever had. Yes. Wow, coaching, not just at Nebraska. And I'll tell you what, those guys, they'll get right under the pile of... Oh. <laughs> Easy, bud. Just drive you downfield. <laughs> you rattled me a bit. All right, let's talk a little bit about defense. Uh, obviously, we have the advantage of defense. I would assume that everybody agrees. Even if you're uh, down in Texas and you're a geek down there, you have to recognize that Nebraska has the best defense in the country. Talk a little bit about how you think the Nebraska defense will frustrate Texas. Well, they'll frustrate them because uh, matchup-wise, they don't do anything good. They don't run the ball well. They only had 150 yards rushing on Rice, who is one of the worst offense or one of the worst defenses in the nation. Yep. Our back seven is uh, running on all cylinders. Yeah. And I have a feeling uh, Pelini's got some blitzes dialed up from this week. He always and does. Always Gilbert's going to be running for his life. Yeah. Good point. Good point. All right. You know, uh, everybody's excited. There's been predictions everywhere. Some are going low, some are going high. Give us your prediction. What do you think the score is going to end up on Saturday? Well, I actually think it's going to be a little bit closer than you may think, but uh, I'm going to say 2010, big red roll. 2010, all right. Well, uh, I'm going to, you're right, I would say it'll be a little bit higher. I say 31 13. And it'll get a little out of hand at the end of the game. I think we're, we're going to be way too physical. I think they're soft. You know, they talk a lot, but they don't back it up with their play. These Acho brothers are soft. So uh, I, I think we're going to be physical. We're going to get it done 31 13. Big red roller, baby. Boys are going to be amped. They're going to be playing with passion. This segment is brought to you by Skill Cut Lawn Care. Professional care at a reasonable price. Carmine Pellini, and we're back. Hey, we got a segment for you. You asked for it, so we give it to you. That's what we do here at this show. This segment is the Facebook Ask Carmine section. Okay, you guys messaged in the questions. We selected... 
the first three that came in, because that's how we roll. And uh, here we are, ask Carmine anything. Okay, first question here. No, this is a good one. Are you really related to Nebraska coach Bo Pelini? Yes, I am. That's why my last name's Pelini. Hello. I am a distant relative on his grandmother's side. All right, let's move on. Second question here. All right, what do you think Nebraska's regular season record will be this year? Dumb question. Not to offend the asker, but that's a dumb question. 12 and 0. 12 and 0, folks. There will be a hiccup, but they'll get past it because this is a great team with a great defense. 12 and 0. Carmine said it first. You remember where you heard it. All right. Ooh, I like this one. Our last question from Ask Carmine Anything. Do you think Taylor Martinez has a legitimate shot of winning the Heisman? Great question. Martinez is already a Heisman hopeful. He's on the list. I think he will be up in that upper echelon of Heisman potentials. Do I think he'll win it this year? Uh, that all depends on how good Nebraska does, and I think we're going to do really well. I think that he will have a chance to be in New York. I don't think they'll give it to a freshman. Uh, that's the nature of this business. There's a lot of haters out there, especially we all know there's a lot of Nebraska haters. So I, I, I just can't see them giving it to a freshman. Uh, but I think stat-wise and playing-wise, he has a very good chance to be in New York. And that is, is a feat in itself as a freshman who just blew up out of nowhere. You know, I mean, we knew who he was, but I don't think anybody really expected this unless you were at practice. But uh, I think he has a really good shot next year and, and from years on. Uh, but I wouldn't put it past, you know, this year. I just think it's uh, percentage chance 20%. Now, that could go up if we rise and rise and rise and teams lose uh, with Heisman hopefuls like uh, all those bums in Alabama. But uh, don't think we'll get it this year. think that it could come along in his career, though. All right, wrapping it up, that is Ask Carmine Anything. You heard it here first. Carmine Pellini, go Big Red.